Hey guys, what's up? Sterling here and welcome back to my Crash Twin Sanity Let's Play. Last time uh, we started the game off by getting through all the levels on Insanity Isle. And now we are going to continue on. We're going to get through the levels um, that are associated with Iceberg Labs. So let's start things off. This might be a little bit longer than uh, part one, but let's just see what happens. So uh, Cortex is just standing right there. Let's see what's up. This iceberg lair could do much goodness in the world. Of course, only I have the key. Absurd. Follow me. I know another way. Crash was like, huh? What are you talking about? Um, so yeah, we can't get in through the fucking doors right here, which would have made the game a hell of a lot easier, but instead, we're gonna have to, uh, find an alternate way. And this music that's playing right now, you're gonna be hearing it pretty much throughout the entire part, almost, so, be warned. It does get a little, uh, annoying sometimes, like, it is a decent soundtrack, but it can be a little, uh, it can be repetitive. Snow bats. Alright. So in here. Now, instead of going all the way around, you can just do this. Yeah, just jump up and then get the checkpoint just to be safe. But yeah, you don't have to go around. You can just jump on top of that antenna thing. work our way up to the top and uh, we do have quite a bit of way to go and look at all this crap that's a well you can't see it like that but got quite a bit of stuff all right remember these enemies they were in the very first crash game in the uh, I believe it was heavy machinery I think that's what it was called there's Jim You. Oh, I could have gotten you. Damn bats. Get out of here. These penguins, get out and get out. Fucking bats. I want the extra life. Oh, fucking bat. You scared the shit out of me. Damn. <laughs> that literally scared me. It just popped up. Alright. Now we made it to the top. All right, um, there is actually a trick you can, well not that, but there is a trick where you can survive those nitros. So I wanna see if I can do it. Yep, right there. <laughs> Screw the three seconds it takes to blow up the Nitros. Be careful right there. There's a nitro. And right here. Okay. Let's see what uh, what's up with Cortex here.
Yep, uh, Cortex literally referenced Wrath of Cortex, and apparently they referenced that uh, the game didn't do as well as they hoped. That's kind of funny. What I do like with this Crash game, and I forgot to mention this in the first part, is they do add some pretty good humor to it. Um, you know, this game is rather pretty funny. And yeah, if you throw Cortex off, that's what happens. He'll literally fall all the way down. You can see him right there, and then he comes back up like that. Um, it's kind of hard to get that that uh, extra life, so we're not going to bother with it. Shoot the bats. And then hit the switch. Also, we can do, yeah, that move. I think I showed that move before. Fuck it, let's get the gym. Well, how was I supposed to survive that? Yeah, this is good music, but it is pretty repetitive, I'll say. Alright, let's jump down. And, uh, look at this. That has to really fucking hurt. Just getting thrown through ice. I, like, how is Cortex still alive? That's just crazy. How are you moving, Cortex, when I'm standing still? That's a glitch. <laughs> Cortex to override security consoles. Activate the switch. What the fuck? You see that? His shadow is down there. That's weird. Watch out for these damn nitros. Okay. Who's that? That looks familiar. Let's see what happens. Alright, so Uka Uka now wants to kill us with his new ice body. And the music here is pretty badass. Turn it up a little bit. Jump! Alright. Activate the switch and hit this button. And what I don't get is, Uka Uka was frozen with Cortex in the beginning. How the hell did he get all the way over here? I have no idea. Uh, be careful walking around these flames. Fucking camera. 
Whoa. Alright, and he's dead. His ass is on fire. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably the only time you'll see Aku and Uka get along with each other. Because all, in all the other games, they hate each other. <laughs> um, I don't know who does the voice of Uka here. It's not Clancy Brown, and I don't think it's John DiMaggio. Um, but they'll say in the credits. And then I think uh, Uka, uh, Aku is voiced by the same guy that voiced him in Crash. Three, Team Racing, and even Wrath of Cortex. I don't know who voiced them in Crash Bash. Right. And I don't know how the hell we're supposed to get these, unless if we... Lost my balance. I don't know why there's lag going on. Yeah, stupid ass lag. Kind of messing up how I move. is associated with Victor and Maurice. For now, let's defeat these ants. Oh, yeah, they come through with just a weird looking warp ball. Such a tiny brain. 
If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me! That's a risk I'm willing to take! Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. So what do you say? With my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity, we'll be unbeatable! Yep, Crash and Cortex are now friends. <laughs> The Psychotron. Yet the Psychotron is pretty much the main thing of the game. The main area. We just go down. And we... Just wait for the door open. Alright, here he is. This is the Psychotron. Gateway to the infinite dimensions beyond our universe, somewhere between the ninth and eleventh dimensions, lies the mysterious tenth dimension. And there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, and restore the natural order of things. With me on top. We require six power crystals in order to make the leap, and we have four. Let's see. That isn't enough! All is lost! Unless... Come along! Alright, so apparently we don't have enough crystals to activate the Psychotron, so we're gonna have to go get some more. But yeah, it's pretty damn shiny and colorful. Alright. This part actually might be shorter than uh, the first part. Mostly because, you know, I'm not doing a whole lot of explaining like I did in the beginning of the last part. Because the first seven minutes, I know, was just me talking. So, I was just, I just like to explain things for those that have never played the game before. Okay. We are about to encounter one of the greatest moments in this game, and one of the funniest moments in this game as well. Yeah, it does get really tedious, constantly just blowing up TNTs all the time. They just fucking put TNTs all over the place, or not TNTs, nitros. TNTs and nitros all over the place. All right, right here is one of the greatest moments of the game. There, to the sea, I tell you, our salvation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach Engine's battleship and quickly before it sets sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. Crash is, for some reason, scoping Cortex, and he's getting an idea. This is what he does. Kicks him in the ass. And we get to humiliate on Cortex. Yeah, that's what it's called, humiliating. We get to do this awesome thing and then watch this. Yeah, painful. The sound of that just really hurts. And here's one of the gems that's hard to get, and I got it. Get them switches. And then, yeah, this is uh, Slip Slide Ice Capades. <coughs> Bless me. The previous one was uh, Ice Climb. So, I do want to try and mention the names of the levels as we go along. this music my favorite music will always be the mega bandicoot music that one's really cool but this is one of the the best ones as well and the cool thing with uh, the soundtrack is it's from people singing actually like the majority of the soundtrack here is uh people singing which i really like getting chased by penguins 
Oh yeah, and stay in the middle because we gotta do this. Ouch! There's our fourth crystal. Or no, we have uh we have five crystals now. We already had four. So we just need one more to activate the psychotron. Whoa, flapping like a bird. <laughs> Just the sound of that is so painful. Oh, wow. All right, and then right here is a sexual innuendo right here. Coming through, ladies. Excuse me, madam. Are those real? Mother? Yeah, Cortex said, are those real? As if he's trying to figure out if someone's boobs were real. <laughs> it's pretty, uh pretty weird that they would put that in a crash game and I think that's like the only sexual indu innuendo that's in the game. Be careful of these damn icebergs. Crap. Oh, well, we didn't go too far. Oh, God. Yeah, I recommend going slow. Clear gym there. Yeah, and he even hurts his nuts on that thing. Yellow gym. And then we get to row into a snowball. Gym, and let's fall down. Whose house is that? Ooh. Great villain. It's just reading a book and then boom. I've never been so humiliated. No amount of treasure could ever begin to compensate. Treasure? Bonsai. What the hell did he say? Bonsai? <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, apparently, Cortex, even though, oh, he, he disappeared, he must have gotten up while I walked away. He disappeared, and now we have to go our separate way. Yeah, there's times where, like, Cortex will just disappear on us, and we just have to travel ourselves. But we have reached Engine's battleship, where we have to, uh, confront him. Even though I thought Engine died because he was a part of that, or he was controlling Mega Bandicoot, so. Oh well, but let's get through this. So now we are in high seas, high jinx. Oh, I forgot about those the swinging creatures. He's pissed. <laughs> and that was a weird jump that he did. All right, so now he's gonna be filing, filing, what the, yeah, filing crap at us. No, he's gonna be firing missiles at us. And right here we get a Donkey Kong style thing right here. Oh! Rhino. Yeah, there's a lot of mice in this. And that's one of the few gems that we're forced to get. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought 
thought I saw something there. It looked like a crystal or something. That's... Get this gem. There's a gem that's uh, in this area right here that is so annoying to get. I believe it's a yellow gem. You have to do like obscure tasks. Yeah, that right there, it's annoying to get it. And then uh, we have to wait for the thing to be completely up. When I was a kid, I used to really enjoy spinning the mice into the nitros. All right, so we've gotten through the battleship. Let's go up and let's collect our sixth crystal here. And uh, let's see what awaits us. The music here is kind of weird. Um, Lure engine into destroying his crow's nest. And when I was a kid, I had no idea what you had to do. You just have to dodge his missiles. And then wait right here at one of his legs. And then it'll throw out TNT. And then it'll do this. Boom. That's what you had to do. Be careful of not touching them spikes. Okay. Go right here. Yeah, try not to touch it, but get close to it. There we go. One more hit. It's a little too far away, but it worked. So he falls down, and then we fall down as well. <sighs> and I collected a wampa fruit during the cutscene. Uh, Alright, we gotta run fast away from this walrus cook guy. And this is a character I think should also be in Nitro Field. I would not mind playing as him. Right, screw that gem. But yeah, this this right here is one of the kind of hardest moments of the game. Because when you keep running, he'll be able to catch up to you. So definitely uh, just keep moving. Don't slow down at all. And he can touch Nitros and not get hurt. Alright. Ooh. Now right here you get a good head start, so that's cool. Whoa! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew nitros were about to show up. I hit X, I don't know why that happened. There we go. Yeah, do the oh, god damn it. Just keep doing the kick jump for a little bit so you can get way far away from him. Ugh. The X button ain't working. All right. Close the door on him. <laughs> Did 
Yeah, he jumps over the... Damn it. He jumps over the cracks, but there's times where he literally walks over them. It's kind of weird. All right, he's way far behind, so we got time to get away from him. Yeah, when I was a kid, I always died on this part. I had trouble on this part for quite a long time. All right, we're safe. And uh, a bunch of TNTs are surrounding. Crash is like, I don't know, how am I gonna escape this? Oh. So that whole, what was engine doing the whole time we were getting chased? Boom. There we go. <laughs> the rats are leaving the sinking ship. Tell us where the treasure is and we'll let you go. Sight. Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Embryo, get changed. Embryo, he's got a lot darker skin. <laughs> You know, Brio, he likes to drink his potions, and he's going to turn into a big, chaotic frog thing. We just have to dodge him, and then I recommend staying right next to one of the cracks, because Entropy will do that. And then just move across these until uh, Entropy's shield goes down. Because just like Crash 3, he's not very wise and decides to let you defeat him. Okay. Alright. And then, boom! Get out of here. All right, one last hit. Right here, right here. And you are gone. Pretty easy, boss. And what happens? Boom! We get launched away. <laughs> the Psychotron. Now that we have enough crystals, we can go to the Psychotron. But yeah, and there's a YouTube user that I'm actually going to talk shit about here but he's probably not even gonna watch this video and I'm sure people will tell him about it and I don't care but Mario fan 110 he sucked ass when he did his freaking uh, walkthrough of this game because what he did was he went through the entire thing of uh, of ice climb and slip slide ice capades when there was a freaking platform right here and I'm like Wow, you suck ass. He literally sucks a lot of ass at this game because his walkthrough sucked. I don't like Mario Fan 110 anyways. He's just, he's annoying. He's a hypocrite. So, but that's all I'm going to say about him. All right. You monster! Let my brother go! It's hard to tell if he talked about his real crystals or his nuts. <laughs> Ruined! Thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired. And only one person can help. My niece, Nina Cortex. 
Isn't she delightful? Obviously, I've made a few modifications here and there. <laughs> Quickly, to my private dirigible. Set a course for Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil. Yeah, the dirigible that we saw in Crash 1 and 2. Come along! So yeah, because of Coco screwing things up, we have to get uh, more crystals and we have to get help from... Nina Cortex. And the thing that's stupid is if you touch Coco, you take damage. That's really stupid. I don't know why, but... Alright, so where is uh, the location that we're supposed to go? Right here. Okay. So that'll be it for this part of my Crash Twin Sanity Let's Play. This part turned out to be 10 minutes shorter than the previous part. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. In the next part, we will go on the blimp or the dirigible and uh, tackle the next world of the game so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later peace out